Hey guys, Christoph the Polish Geek and back with another movie review and I'm reviewing the new dark fantasy Christmas action movie Red One and yes because it's another like unique Christmas movie kind of similar to Violet Night except that well Violet, Violet Night was like basically a very violent thriller I mean like in the style of Die Hard. This, on the other hand, is still very action-packed, but it's more fantasy adventure story. Although, Violet Knight, in the end, turned out to be a really great movie, and while the premise did sound kind of ridiculous and over the top, because clearly, the creators clearly had love and passion for what they were doing, it, at the end, ended up being a really great quality product. But can the same thing be said for Red One? No, I can't say so. In fact, I think that the movie was so cheesy that in no way I can call it a good movie. Like, in fact, I gotta say it probably had a lot more flaws than it had positives. And now we'll talk about it. And you know what's the worst part? The story itself wasn't actually bad, or at least the concept for the story wasn't actually bad. I mean, the execution was terrible, but... The story actually had a potential, and if you actually got a team that actually had love and passion and actually cared about making a good quality product, it could end up being an, another great Christmas classic, because like Violet Night that I just talked about, I end up loving the movie so much that it literally now joined the list of Christmas classics that I watch every year. I mean, it's not really a classic because it's only like two years old, but it did join the list of great Christmas movies I watch every year. This movie, it will certainly not be on this list. And as I just said, it's really shame too, because as I said, the story wasn't bad, at least not on paper. And if you had a team of people that actually cared about making a really interesting, unique quality product, then as I said, like Violent Night, it could actually join the list of Christmas movies I watch every year, but I don't think I will ever be watching this movie ever again because everything else about this movie sucks. Like, and the first thing we'll talk about is the terrible CGI and the technical achievement. Like, the CGI for this for this movie is just terrible. Like, and kind of like in the vein of modern CGI in general. Like. In general, modern CGI really sucks and it's easier and it's now more about looking for a good CGI than bad CGI nowadays, but truly this is like one of the worst CGI's I have ever seen, which says a lot. But then again, even that's not the worst problem because if you because I said, if you if everything else would be very great, then you could totally look past that terrible CGI, but the problem is other things aren't good either, like the dialogues are terribly written and the whole action is so cheesy in this movie. And the characters, although it's clear that the script desperately tries to give them good arcs, which is good that they have arcs at least, but... They're so badly written that... That you can't just see their character development and or you or can't care about their arcs because... They're so blandly written. Like, I've seen this movie like yesterday, and you know what? I already don't remember almost names of any characters. Like, I only remember, I guess, the main character was like Jack, and he had a relationship with his son, but because all the characters were so uninteresting and the script was so badly written that as a result, I practically even don't remember almost anything about the characters at this point. Yep. That's how much I cared about them. Now I almost barely remember anything about them. And even the performances were not even particularly good. Good, Like, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, I guess he was kind of decent in action scenes, but... Again, I've been saying it for a long time in my channel already that the action scenes aren't good or interesting if you aren't invested in the characters. I mean, like, in addition to the fact that they were not even well done on a technical standpoint, as I said, if you are not emotionally invested, invested in characters, then even the best action scenes mean nothing. And when it came to 
uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, his character, for constantly as he was on screen, I was just thinking Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson, instead of actually thinking about the character that he technically played. Overall, Red One, some will say it was just mindlessly entertaining. Sure, let's go with that, but that's not what makes a good movie, in my opinion. For a good movie, you gotta have a well-written script with interesting, engaging characters. And this certainly was not it. I will again compare it to Violet Knight, because like, look at Violet Knight. As I already said in the beginning of the video, the premise on paper would sound just crazy, insane, but at the same time, because you had a talented team of people who clearly knew and cared about what they were doing, at the end, you have an amazing product that I gladly added now to a collection of Christmas movies I watch every year. But Red One, on paper at least, had a much better sounding story on paper, but in the end, it ended up that the, at the best being just a mindless entertainment, at best. And at worst, just a uh, silly CGI fest with poorly written and uninteresting characters who have arts, and I guess that's good, the best thing you could say about the story, but because of everything else, ultimately this isn't interesting. So, here is my opinion on the red one. And again, if you like the movie, because I've seen some people on Rotten Tomatoes actually, on the audience, is actually very much praising this movie. So again, if you love the movie, okay, I'm happy for you. But this is my review. And thank you all of you for checking out this review. Press the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.